Hello guys, welcome back to Divine Time and Tarot. This is Tanya. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Cross watchers, you're always welcome here. Hello, Divine Time and Tarot family. I love you guys. I thank you. I appreciate you. Guys, for the month of September, if you give me a donation, you can get a reading, okay? You have to be a subscriber. And I would love it if you comment, okay? This is for the month of September. Just showing my appreciation how, you know, guys, I appreciate you. And I thank you. I have PayPal and I have Cash App. That information is in my description box. My number is in my description box. You can text me or you can email me at tHugins, H-U-G-I-N-S, 1031 at gmail.com, okay? So guys, we're here doing a video for Capricorn. This is for the second week, the second part of September 2020, all right? This is a general reading. It's for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, okay? Capricorn, I'm already sage. I've prayed over the cards, and I've laid them down for time purposes, okay? Um, your overall energies here, Capricorn... From the romance angels is pay attention to the red flags here signs are cautioning you and then we have love yourself first your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive and then we have soulmates yes this is your soulmate that you're dealing with I've had two different stories here Capricorn from um, the romance angels because um, as I was shuffling, I mean, you know, cards, a lot of cards did fall out. One of them was engagement, okay? One of them was true love. And um, I forgot what the other one was. But some of you guys are taking your uh, relationship to the next level. Because it is your true love. Some of you guys, it looks like you're going to separate because somebody is possibly playing games here. You are dealing with a soulmate, but this person is possibly being manipulative, okay? This is why you got to love yourself first, you know? So, and there is something going on here, okay? You know there's something going on here. Paying attention to the red flags. And then at the bottom of the deck, we got the high priestess here. She is the all-knowing, you know. She holds secrets, and she knows that somebody is being sneaky, you know. And then underneath that, we got the moon card. This is secrets. And somebody is stressing about it with this nine of swords. You guys could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. Um... Cancer. So let's get to your tarot cards. Your situation is the page of swords. So somebody's definitely spying, checking somebody's email, social media, going through their phone, you know, seeing what somebody doing. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius here. Okay. Then what's challenging you is the two of swords. Wow. Some of you guys are definitely dealing with a Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, okay? Mm. That's being sneaky. That's being very sneaky here. This Two of Swords, this is a decision that somebody is refusing to make. Look how this, how sheer her scarf is right here. She knows what it is. It's he or she know what it is that they need to do. They're just refusing to do it, okay? So this is somebody that's not wanting to make a decision about something that's very serious here. Okay? They want everything. They want it all. Somebody wants it all. Sure do. We got the Queen of Wands here. The Queen of Wands, she's very passionate. She's very ambitious. She goes for the things that she wants. And she gets them. I'm not sure who this person is right now in Capricorn. I'm not even 
I'm not even feeling that it is your energy, okay? So we'll just continue to go to the, through the cards and see what it is. Your um, near past is the Knight of Swords. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. You also could be dealing with a Leo, Sag, or Aries, okay? With the Queen of Wands here. But this person is running, rushing in possibly to start drama. But they're rushing in because they want to communicate quickly. Quickly, okay? Your your present moment is a hermit. This could be you, Vir Virgo. It is. It does represent Virgo. But this could be you taking a step back from something. Doing some soul searching. Getting closer to your spiritual side, okay? Trying to seek some answers. Because you're definitely listening to your intuition. Your intuition is telling you everything that you need to know trust yourself okay trust what you know universe is is sending to you god whoever you pray to they giving you all the information that you need capricorn so your near future is the knight of coins this could be you towards virgo capricorn this could be your energy just waiting patiently not offering anything taking your time being very methodical Dotting your eyes, crossing your T's before you commit to anything. This could be you, Capricorn, definitely. Most definitely. But let's go ahead and clarify and get a little bit more info. Why is the Page of Swords here for Capricorn? Why is the Page of Swords here for Capricorn? The Page of Swords. Why is it here? Okay, we have the Five of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So, are you feeling left out here, Capricorn? You feeling abandoned? Possibly having, those, you know, some money issues. Um, possibly feeling ghosted. You know, I don't know. But somebody is feeling this way. This could be you or the person that you're dealing with. Why is the Five of Pentacles here for Capricorn? Five of Pentacles. Why is it here? Why is the Five of Pentacles here for Capricorn? Oh, so many, so many, so many. Okay. That's too many, guys. Too many. I can't do all that. Why is the Five of Pentacles here? One more. Just give me one card, please. Okay, we'll take that. King of Air, again. <laughs> I'll tell y'all, y'all is dealing with an air sign. Yeah, this person wants to communicate because they're feeling left out in the cold. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, okay? They're feeling abandoned. They feel that you ghosted them, okay? Two of swords. And I can see why you ghosted them. Because somebody was playing games and they didn't want to make a decision. They didn't want to make a decision. They had to make a decision between two people here. Why is the two of swords here for Capricorn? Why is the two of swords here for Capricorn? The dreamer. Yeah, you're taking that leap of faith. You're going to start your own little journey. Alone. Alone. Who is this Queen of Wands? Who is the Queen of Wands? Now, I'm getting the feeling that this Queen of Wands could be you being very ambitious, going for the things that you want and getting them. I'm starting to feel that this Queen of Wands is you. Who is this Queen of Wands? Who is the Queen of Wands, guys? Thank you so much. <clears throat> oh, y'all just not talking. Y'all quiet. Y'all definitely quiet. You guys are definitely not communicating with somebody because you're over it, seems like. You're over it. Yeah, because somebody is real shady. Somebody is definitely very shady here. Yep. Who is the Queen of Wands? Who is the Queen of Wands? Y'all cards do not want to talk much. I mean, very little. Okay, we have the King of Air. I mean, the King of Wands. Clarifying the Queen of Wands. This definitely could be you and your partner. You know, you guys have a lot of passion for each other. You know what I'm saying? And somebody wants to take action. Somebody definitely wants to take action. Who is the Knight of Swords? Who is this Knight of Swords? This person is rushing in. Whoever your person is, they rushing in. And they, about to, and they not happy, okay? They rushing in because they want to let you know that you, you emotionally fulfill them, okay? Now, guys, some of y'all could be dealing with somebody 
that has a family, okay? Possibly married here, okay? That's for some of y'all. It's probably not even all of y'all. Not a lot of y'all. But somebody is dealing with a family situation. Yep, this is the lovers. This Gemini. This is a decision, a head over heart decision that needs to be made between two people. You are definitely dealing with your soulmate, Capricorn. Y'all got a very spiritual connection. But somebody here, <clears throat> like I said, is being very shady. And it seems to have you stuck with this Eight of Swords, or maybe this is your partner. Why is the Hermit here? That's why somebody has taken a step back from this whole situation and possibly going to walk away with the Eight of Cups. Possibly going to walk away. Because, I mean, to me, the Hermit, that's just like ghosting somebody. Just like, you know what? I ain't talking to you. I'm just, I'm just gone. I'm gone. And then with the Eight of Cups on there, mm -hmm, somebody is just leaving. They over it. Because somebody don't want to be honest here. What else we got here? The Three of Wands. Somebody's definitely turning their back and waiting on something else to come in. This fool is here on the table. Somebody going on their own journey because they tired of the lies, the cheating, you know. Somebody possibly here has a whole family. Somebody possibly here has a whole family. Why is the Knight of Coins here? The Magician. This is definitely you manifesting the things that you want. And going to get them. You have everything within your being to get the thing to manifest the things that you want, Capricorn. The Magician. Why is the Magician here? Why is the Magician here? Hmm... Yep, you, you're going to go on your money game. You could be an entrepreneur, got your own business, handling your business, very nurturing. If there's children involved, you're taking care of your children and doing what you want to do and moving on because you just don't want to deal with this. Some, like I said, some of y'all could be married to this person or this person could be married, okay? But Capricorn, you got options here with the Seven of Cups here. Could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpio. I don't know. But um, you definitely have options here. What we got at the bottom of the deck? We got the Six of Air, Six of Swords. You're moving on to common waters here. And that horse is in that boat by itself. Let's get some advice here for Capricorn. Universe, what advice do you have for Capricorn? What advice do you have for Capricorn? What advice? Do we have for Capricorn? I think y'all last video was be um, be honest or something or tell the truth or you don't get a second chance, something like that. Well, somebody ain't told the truth because somebody leaving. I forgot what it was, but it was something to that effect. Be honest. Something like that. Because somebody definitely wanted a second chance here. Universe. Oh, we got the axe here. Break up, separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment, and abandonment. Mm -hmm. So somebody goes to somebody. Because somebody was like, you know what? I, I can't even talk to you no more because you, you just don't know how to be honest. And somebody, like I said, I had two different stories here. Some of y'all is, is getting engaged, okay? This is unconditional loving, giving and receiving affection and falling in love. Some of you guys are, are taking this, this um, relationship to the next level. And some of you guys are just not going to handle it. We got options here. We got the key on the ring. This is many options. This is string along, one night stand. And that's what somebody was doing, stringing somebody along here. Somebody was wearing a false mask here, not showing true feelings, hiding, you know, pretending, deluding, gaslighting. Yeah, Capricorn, if this resonates with you, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you guys. Bye-bye.